Oh man, we back, man. It, it hit different when we got to bring you right back on the show. It hit it do different. It hit different, son. It do hit different. Pri hey, man, the price is going up, man. I mean, a lot of people love what you're doing. Uh, my nephew, man, I, I know it's real when my nephew hit me up and and like, man, FYBJ, man, man, it hit different. So the youngins are tapped in now. Yeah, yeah. But like I told you, Sean, everything that I'm doing is a it's for the younger generation. It's for the youth, Sean. I'm trying to I'm trying to motivate the youth in a positive way. So you know that's always a good thing. Yeah, our interview went crazy. Uh, you know, I don't really put too much of of my uh, conversations in public, but Lil Reese DM'd me and uh he was like, Hey, stop mentioning my name in your interviews to those goofies about you no, know, he he said something like, uh, "Stop mentioning my name to them goofies in your interviews on phone them." I ain't respond back. My cousin but, uh, be hostile though. <laughs> my cousin do get hostile though, Sean. Like I told you, the grim the Grim Reaper man. He came from nowhere. I said, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it hit different with my cousin DM Sean Cotton, bro. It do hit different. Hey, now when it come to Lil Reese, like put it like this: when he DM you, he he DM me a lot. I can't even cap. He he do DM me. That's one thing that man gonna do. Reese gonna DM you, Sean. So it just hit different when it's like, I, right, how he coming? Do you want an interview? Just say that. If it hit different when you want to be on Say Cheese, it hit different. I just don't understand, and this happens all the time. Um, they can say stuff about people in their interviews, but on my platform, I can't get your side of the story. Example, like. Six months ago, we interviewed King Yellow about Famous Dex. It did almost a million views. He said Famous Dex wasn't genuine. Famous Dex, he left everybody behind. He's a liar. He, whatever. But when I interview Famous Dex about what King Yellow said, now King Yellow's mad at me. You get what I'm saying? Now, that, I seen that too. I did peep that. And I'm like, that was bogus though. Because now Yellow, especially with doing the blog and shit, you know how this shit go now. So it's like... What was your purpose? What like, but like I told you, he been chasing this shit for I don't know, like you, you like so that's everything he been doing been out of the out of the character of the original King Yellow that I met, the 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 Yellow Boy that I met, the Simone that I met, bro. It hit different. You know his real name is Simone, right? So that's yeah. that's probably the whole thing, bro. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I went back and looked at at our interview. I'm like, you didn't even really disrespect Lil Reese like that. Like it was, it wasn't nothing that you said that was too much, too much out of pocket for. But real. you came real strong at the interviewer, though. You came real strong at the interviewer, but when it come to the Grim Reaper of Chicago, when it come to them, them guys who you supposedly in tour with, who we ain't gotta say what's going on in the streets, but everybody know what's going on. But you, when it when it come to Sean Cotton, you wanna come on, man, you wanna swell up in the chest. It hit different, man. Watch out, it hit different. Yeah. Uh, now you've been all over headlines lately. Um, a guy by the name of Tay Savage, um, he allegedly chased you down. Now look, bro. First of all, let me tell. Like when you was just talking about sides of stories, let me tell my side. It do hit different. Now, when when we speak on Tay Savage, first of all, he got this name, Tay Savage. Is this man even a savage? Now I ain't gonna front my move. Only reason I say he is savage is because of what I seen with my own eyes. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. What you see with your own eyes? Nah. When they say Tay Savage chase FYBJ Main, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy when you say that, bro. Because um, first of all, do your homework on Tay Savage. What? How did his nose get shot, bro? How did, how did Tay Savage's nose almost fall off? I thought he was dead, bro. It hit different. When I thought you was dead, now I see you back doing whoops. Now you on the internet doing whoops. On phone number, he ain't everybody whoop. He just did a whoop with 16, shot him. I'm like, I thought he was dead, bro. It hit different when I- what year, what, Wait, what year was this when you were when you were next to him and you seen him get shot in the nose? Um, What year was this? This, this a couple years back. I know- um, Duck was still alive for sure. You see what I'm saying? Duck was still alive, but this a couple years back on Fulham. This got to be like, and then they mentioned this stuff, bro. That's what I'm saying. This got to be like 10 years ago, folks. 
it hit different when y'all mentioning mentioning stuff from 10 years ago trying to make FYBJ main seem some type of way like I'm some type of scary ass nigga, bro. It hit different. Let me get this overstood. You and him used to be cool, obviously, because y'all were hanging around each other, right? No, no, bro. It hit different. I got to break down the story to you, Sean, for you to even understand this shit. So, okay. my cousin who you just speaking on, Lil Reese, right? I don't know Tay Savage from a can of paint, bro. It hit different when I don't know you from a can of paint, but you, la, 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 la. I don't know you, bro. It hit different when I don't know you, but you, la, 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 It hit different. So, long story short, keep in mind, me and Lil Reese, me and my cousin, bro, we had, we had, um, I'm going to call it a family feud, bro, because when you in tour with family members, I guess it's a family feud, bro. It hit different. So, I see my cousin at the club, bro. After my cousin just came through and la 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 la, it hit different. So, J Main at this time, I ain't from I ain't from O Block, but I wanted my get back. It hit different when you want your get back after somebody come through and la 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 la, it hit different. So I uh, I check. Ah, in the club on phone number, I got them members with me. Do your homework on FYBJ Main having members with him, bro. It hit different. Long live motor, BD motor. It hit different when it's BD motor I was with, bro. It hit different. So now we in the club, bro, on phone number, doing us, doing us on phone number. Mo motor in there, throwing up the trays, throwing up the trays, throwing up the trays. Do your homework on throwing up the trays with one hand and cracking them with the other like this. It hit different. What, the, what does that mean? That mean you BD, but you BDK, bro. It hit different, bro. Okay. So, Moda in the, we in Deja Vu. We in Deja Vu on phone num. Me and Moda on phone num. One of the other guys on phone num. Um, it hit different. Um, nah, nah. All I know on bro, I guess, well, we get a little whisper. A little birdie must tell us in the club, hey, J Main, your cousin in here, Lil Reese. Nah. At this time of my life, I'm still on the BS that I used to be on, Sean. I ain't this changed man that y'all see in front of me with this HIV shirt on, bro. Yeah, I'm we're going to get to that for sure because that's crazy. Him, bro. So this is FYB, little FYBJ, man. So now I'm in the club on phone number. They give me that word. I'm, I check on phone number. I'm going to go check. What, year, what year was this? What year was this? What year is this on phone number? I told you I be high on phone number. I be okay. forgetting the, the dates on phone number. But this is this a couple years ago, Sean. This ain't this this, a, this so many years ago to the point we shouldn't even been talking about this, bro. So I don't okay. know why they why sixteen shot him even asking him these questions. It hit different. So long story short, bro. I guess it's merch. They like yeah, your cousin in the club on phone number. You know me, I get right up on them. I guess he up some stairs. That's how Deja Vu set up on phone number. Now, Reese see me get scared. It hit different when you see Big FYBJ Main, Mr. It hit different in person. Now you scared. You see your cousin. Why he scared, Sean? Because I just, because he just came through the hood and la 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 la. So he already know what time it is, bro. It hit different. So on phone number, he see J Main on phone number. I'll mug now. Now I mug. <laughs> you know you gotta breathe hard, bro. It hit different when you breathe hard to let a nigga know you see it. So, <laughs> he, he, why y'all letting them run up on me, man? Why y'all letting them run up on me? Keep in mind, I don't know Tay Savage. From what I'm understanding, I'm guessing he is one of the other individuals who was there. My act, I'm seeing red at this time, Sean. He just came through the hood and la 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 la. It hit different when you come through the block and la 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 la. So, I see red when I see you. So my eyes is focused on him. That's the only person I'm seeing. And he telling security, why y'all let me, why y'all letting these niggas walk up on me, man? I know these niggas, man. I know them. It hit different. Long story. Lil, short, Reese, Lil Reese told that to security. This is what Lil Reese telling security. Now he's he's backing up behind security. Remember, I told you it's some stairs right here. So he's he's backing up the stairs trying to get the police in front of him now. It hit different. I'm well, the, the security, not the police, part of my body. It hit different. Long story short. We must lead a whoop, Sean. Do your homework on, we stay in that club though. That altercation happened in the club. 
We all right, boy. All right, boy. It's good. A phone number. We made it seem like it was dead, right? Phone number. I guess it must have been. I don't know what we want to call it. It must have been something in the air that night that after we leave this club, Sean, on phone number, who car we see? Them niggas, boy. It hit different when you see them niggas, boy. After you just bumped into them niggas in the club, boy. On phone number. Do your homework. So now, um, check. There go that car. On that car. Do your homework. Long live FBG Duck, bro. On, who that is on that car on phone now we get on that in chicago that's 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 our mindset bro we see the car on phone now now keep in mind do your homework on the white building bro now it's a white building in chicago sit on what that is on it right off the 9 c 7 69 and right off the e-way on phone now you can't miss it big white building on phone now now keep in mind we all get off the e-way on phone now we see the car on phone now mom it hit different Keep in mind, we on we in a Vino though, bro. We in a Vino. Do your homework on a Vino. Now, I don't know if y'all call Vino. What's a Vino, J Man? Break this shit down. What's the whoop? A Vino is a van, bro. We in a Vino. Keep in mind, it's it's a couple people in this car, Sean. I can't cap. Now, keep in mind, me being FYB J Man on phone now. I'm really finna. I I, I could have pulled a tray. You feel me? Yo, doe, let me out. It hit different when I pull a yo do, let me out. But I, it's my whoop. This is my get back. So I ain't pull at this time on phone now. It hit different. Now, long story short, we pull up. We see the car. Um, I check. They pull on the side block on phone now. Now they realizing it's like Grand Theft Auto. You know, when you get too close up on a motherfucker and they now they see a motherfucker on their ass, now they, okay, they know this is you now. It hit different. So now they know this is us, so they doing fluky shit. They pull on a slab, side block on bro. Hop out the car. I guess, keep in mind, that's Lil Reesey to me. Catch my drift, that's Lil Reesey. That's all I know, bro. That's Lil Reesey. Somebody else do some giant witch shit, Sean. Fall out the car. Blow back, blow back. Now the windows in the Vino, do your homework on the windows in the Vino. Windows bust out now. Keep in mind, J Main, what you doing at this time? When 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 they blowing back, J Main like this. It's a Vino. Windows, the glass, do your homework on glass hitting me in the eye that night, Sean. Do your homework on glass hitting me in the eye. Damn, damn, damn. They shooting now. Four now, I get up. Four now, it hit different. No, 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 I hear, ah! Somebody get shot in their nose, bro. It hit different. We see somebody fall. We jump in car. We on our way back to 63rd, bro. Do your homework on the story happening on 69th. Now we gotta make it back to 63rd, bro. It hit different. Long story short, I never knew who that was, Sean. I ain't know that was Tay Savage blowing. I ain't know that was Tay Savage getting busy, bro. But Chicago, this the type of city that everybody know what's going on, bro. When something happened, everybody know who did that. Bro, soon as I looked at, soon as, before I made it to 63rd, they was like, boy, I heard, I heard y'all just shot Tay in the nose. It hit different. From the look of it, I mean, I, I I'm not really familiar with Tay Savage, uh, but just by looking at the the stuff online, he's been through a lot of stuff like uh, beating murders, um, allegedly, allegedly somebody's mom died or some shit like that. Uh, but this guy, he, he seems like a real serious dude. Then you said he looked like John Wick that night. Yeah, put it like this, y'all call him Tay Sav, bro. I call him John Wick. Let's start there. The situation with him allegedly killing Blazing Doll Mama, shit, I, I, I know he killed that girl mama. Shit, he shot at me, it hit different. Fuck is you talking about? So in is my the, is opinion- this, Is this considered snitching or nah? Yes, yes, this is snitching, yes. <laughs> but fuck? it hit different on how you snitch. He came out with the story first, bro. He just did a whole 16 shot him interview. 
So you ask him, I snitching? Hell no, nah, I ain't snitching. He already said that. He already said all this information that I'm saying right now. It's already out. It's, it's he done I, went I, to court for this shit, beat the bodies and everything. It hit different. That's why they felt like it was okay to go on 16 and release this story, bro. Do your homework. Blazing dog. I think I seen her just recently do an interview. She a rapper? Yeah. Keep in mind, I didn't even know that that's the same girl, bro. That's how the generations is so close, bro. The generations is crazy, bro. Like, how did he kill your mama and now you rapping and now you in tour with him? That's crazy, bro. So I feel for her, bro, if anything. That's crazy, bro. I want she's her from to, Chicago. I want her to win that war. <laughs> she's from Chicago? I think so on phone number. That's, they say that's Seth's daughter on game. Now, her mama name was Princess, bro. Let me, let, me, let me bust it down to you. Let me explain to you this Tay Savage situation. So, supposedly, it was one day in Chicago on phone now. Do your homework on how Welch World was created. Now, Tay Savage is from Welch World. Supposedly, him and Tay Savage and Welch stay together, right? They in the hood on phone now. Cop pull up on them on phone number. They walking. These two Chicago niggas on phone number. Welch and Tay on phone number. I guess a cop pull up on phone number. Blick them down. Doom, 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 doom. I guess they hit Welch on phone number. They kill, they kill Welch and hit Tay on phone number. Catch my drift. Now the cop pull off. I guess allegedly that was Blazing Dog Mama who was driving that car. Mm. And the nigga who was shooting was allegedly Neef. Sess and Neef, it hit different. So long story short, now Tay Savage, after he get out the hospital or whatever the case is, revive himself, the, the story in Chicago is that Tay Savage doubled back and end up killing um, the nigga who, who killed Welch and shot him. But before he did that, bro, before he did that, he killed that girl mama for driving that car that pulled up on him, bro. So he got get back for himself and for his homie, bro. So it hit different. That's why certain people in Chicago scared of that man, bro. It hit different. That's why I look at him as John Wick. And when I heard that story, I don't know is it true or not, but shit, it be some shit going on in Chicago and I'm like, hmm, that nigga, that nigga, la 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 la. He la 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 at me, so it hit different. So I'm, hmm, I think he killed her mama, bro. Okay, so let me get this. Let me get this overstood. Neef and Welch, or Seth and Welch. Nah, Tay was with Tay was with Welch walking, right? Okay, 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 okay. Got you. So the two shooters was Neef and Ses. Ses was driving. Princess is a girl. Okay, got which you. Is Makes Blazing sense. Blazing doll mama. So it hit got different. You. Got you. And now years later, she won't get back for her mama, bro. Is she bogus? Nah. But now Tay Savage sharing, sharing the mama music, bro. It hit different when you sharing, I mean, you sharing the daughter music. Tell me like, that's the least I could do. Knowing that you was just on trial for killing this girl mama. That's bogus, bro. That's bogus, bro. That's bogus. So he got indicted. He got charged for the murders, but he beat him. Yeah, it hit different. And now he's, he's, he's really being vocal about it. He's telling his story about it. Yeah, he's telling his side of the story on 16. Shot him and shit right now. Is he wrong? I mean, he was minding his business one day and these people tried to kill him and he got get back. His, and in the street mindset of Chicago mindset, I know it's, this whole story's fucked up, yeah. but is he wrong? And his eyes is, well, am, is he wrong for wanting his get back? Nah, put it like this. He not wrong in his, in his eyes, he can't be wrong, bro. And once you look at on the outside looking in and you know the whole story, nah, he ain't wrong for that. But to share that girl music and to taunt this girl daughter, knowing what happened is wrong, bro. It's, it's about being, you know, on phone number, like you ain't got no human, real human bone in your body, bro. It hit different. Now, Tay Savage, he's from Old Block area. Is Tay Savage from Old Block? Now, nah, on phone number, I heard he was BD from Welch World. Okay, and Welch World is that close to 63rd or? Nah, Welch World, that's on that's on low end on four, low end. on 43rd. It hit different. Okay. That's like 20 and, blocks away. 
Okay, Literally. and Tay, Sav- Tay Savage came up with this story that he ran that you ran from him based off the 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 situation after the club. Yeah. Th- so my whole thing is, how can you chase Fybj Main on for them? He his his whole thing was he posted on his on his Instagram talking about some it hit different when you thought it was a drill, but you end up getting chased down by Tay Savage. First of all, how did you chase me? And I'm in a I'm in a van, bro. I'm in a van, bro. I'm in a Vino, bro. It hit different. I'm in a Vino. You ain't chasing me, bro. You can't, Vans can't even, you see what I'm saying? Vans can't run. How you chase me in a van? You ain't chasing me, bro. It hit different. You ain't chasing me in the yeah. park van, bro. We was already, uh. You see what I'm saying? I, uh, hop out, get busy. It wasn't one of those, bro. It hit different. That night you get in a shootout with Tay Savage. You're with 051 Melly? No. That's why I keep saying, why is they even putting him in the whoop? He, I don't know, put it like this. Moda was the only one that was with us out of that whole story. Tay Savage was so nervous from what I'm understanding. Everybody steady telling him like, yeah, Melly gonna do this, Melly gonna do that. You see what I'm saying? If you pay attention to the whole whoop. Now, you get out and everybody telling you Melly, you don't even know who he is. So you thinking he around. And Moda scared him that night. He like, what, what, Melly with you? Um, is Melly with you? Motor light, man. He around whole time. Melly was nowhere to be around, bro. Mm-mm. Like he was nowhere. Where's to be the correlation? Found. Why didn't Melly? Wh- what was the whole thing with Melly and Tay Savage? It, it was friction. Melly and Tay Savage. Now, keep in mind, Fifty First and Welsh World, bro. They never got along, bro. That's a that's a origin. That's one of the original Chicago beefs, huh? Do your homework, bro. On Welsh World and Young Money, bro. That was that was one of the original Chicago beats, bro. It hit different. You don't remember they dropped a song back in the day, um, Billionaire Black, Come and Get Your Chain. It hit different. Do your homework on at this time, this before Billy was all the way locked in with um with with 63rd like that. He was Welch World. He, that was Billionaire Black from Welch World, bro. And 51st um did some little fluky stuff or something. I don't know. I guess they ended up with billionaire black chain. I don't know how it went. I don't know what the situation was. I never got into that. That's not my business. I mind the business that paid me. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I heard that song back in the day that billionaire black come and get your chain. This was a famous line in Chicago around this time. This is how billionaire black started gaining a lot of his clout through this situation, bro. Yeah. So 051 is young money. That's the same thing. Um. 051. Yeah, yeah. Two it's two separate young monies in Chicago though. Do your homework. Two separate areas? Yeah, yeah. So it's a young money that's be on like over there. They used to be on like 65th and Maryland over there, through there, um back cottage and shit. Then it's another young money on 51st and in, in cottage. Through there. It hit different directions. And they're not the there. same thing at all. Nah, them them two different hoods on for them. Them two different does, does that cause, you know? accidental shootings and stuff like that when it's two different gangs named the same thing? Um, I mean- Like mistaken identity and shit? I mean, it's all type of mistaken identity in Chicago because all these young shorties just shooting now. You feel me? Everybody just shooting on Fulton Gray. It ain't even it ain't even that for real on Fulton. Everybody just shooting. It ain't even got nothing to do with that on Fulton. Put it like this. If you from the right, you know what's going on, so it ain't that confusing to you. You see what I'm saying? Like, once you from here, like, nah, you know them niggas is that young money, and this the young money you into it with, because you got to know them faces on phone. When you in this shit, you got to know them faces. Yeah. Now, 051 Melly, were people really, like, scared of him? Now, yes. Now, put it like this. Back to the Tay Savage situation. People was comparing Tay Savage, 051 Melly, and King Von. They getting that, I right, who was the most savage? And you ask, I right, was people even scared of Melly? The people who was scared of Melly, bro, is the people who Melly was terrorizing. Just like we seen Dutchie come out like, yeah, um, is Vaughn a gangster? He like, I mean, shit, I guess he was a gangster to some of y'all, but I don't know what the fuck he did. So put it like that. People ain't gangster or people only, if you only, I ain't never seen sh- certain shit. Like I, when Tay Savage came out and said Melly was a cool dude, shit, he wasn't really on shit. It's like what I seen with my eyes. Did I ever see Melly do anything? Hell no, I ain't never see Melly do shit. But on phone now, motherfuckers got them stories. Man, fool did this, fool did that, fool did this. So it hit different. You see what I'm saying? So, but on yeah. phone now, that but that I ain't from Melly Hood. I'm not from 51st. So it hit different. Like 
I don't know. Because when Melly died, um, it seems like that's when he really got popular outside of Chicago. And, you know, just watching his IG stories and, I mean, his IG lives and, and shit like that, he didn't look like a killer for real. Not saying he's not. But he is so many different documentaries and so many different stories that people tell me um, that he was really one of them dudes. But when you see it, when you look on the computer on YouTube, you don't really, you can't really tell. Right, right, right. Nah, Melly was like, put it like this. In my opinion, that's why I say, but in killers in Chicago, you can't really say like, yeah, this nigga look like a killer or this nigga don't look like a killer. Cause on phone number in Iraq, nigga, everybody gotta pick up a gun. It hit different or your ass gonna die. So it ain't no, a killer don't really have a face in Chicago. A, a killer don't really have a certain look on phone number. Like everybody out there, most motherfuckers in Iraq getting busy cause you gotta, you gotta kill to survive, kill, shoot to live, it hit different. Tay Savage. King Von, 051 Melly. Who would you think is the, was the most savage? Shit, I gotta get it to take because out of the other two people, ain't none of them. La, 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 none of them came through like that. Like from what I seen, like I, I ain't like when when Dudgy say is Von was Von coming through. Like we wasn't we wasn't saying like when we was on 63rd, bro. We weren't never saying like, damn. I gotta go in the house or I gotta go grab a, another gun. I'm gonna need some more ammo cause King Von coming through. That's not like, we wasn't worried about Von. Like that's 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 the whole point. We ain't saying that Von ain't probably do what he do cause every Chicago nigga do what they gotta do out here. But they, they, making this, they be throwing extra sauce on Von making it seem like he went over overboard. But like I say, after that King Von documentary shit, he'll persuade your motherfucking mind like shit, man. Maybe Von was out here killing shit, it hit different. Yeah. Did you ever hang around Melly? Um, yeah, um, Melly was in my first music video. If you like, I said on the last week, if you go to my first music video, the Chief Keep this, it hit different. Um, FYBJ Man, Chief Keep this. Um, Melly was in there, Duck Mama in there, JoJo brother in there. Like, it's a lot of faces in my first music video. I've been rapping. Do your homework on me being a rapper for so long, Sean. That my first music video in black and white, bro. It hit different. I remember the first time we did an interview and I said that I couldn't tell if you were a comedian, like a internet troll or like a real rapper. But like now as like time goes on and like all these stories are coming out with like real, you're mentioned along with the real, like the real Chicago drill niggas, like the real gangsters. I'm like, this dude really been through some shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, done, been, I done been through some shit, Sean. I ain't going to cap on phone them. I try to smile through. You feel me? I try to smile and make the people happy, make the fans happy, give them a good laugh and shit from time to time. But on bro, yeah, I done been through it, Sean, on some real shit. And this shit don't stop. You know that life shit don't stop. How many life-threatening times have you experienced? Shit, in Chicago, shit. Or and throughout life, period. Chicago. Chicago, shit. Um, a motherfucker couldn't even count on bro, but once, once a motherfucker get, like, you get used to that shit after a while on bro you can't even count how many life-threatening events <laughs> yeah on phone them shit that shit put it like this you go outside like if this chicago right now where i'm at you go outside this your front door on phone them if if you live in the hood nigga you already on the block on phone them nigga you you see what i'm saying it's it's smoke as soon as you walk outside nigga you, now your face you being exposed on phone them it, it hit different like but yeah. hell yeah it's, Hella life threatening experience in Chicago shit. But what was that one time where you was like, I'm not making it home tonight. It's a wrap. I'm a fight. I'm gonna try to fight out of this. But I might not I'm this may be my last day, my last moment. I mean, I ain't gonna cap. When food and them came through, like um food and them come through, I ain't gonna cap. I felt like that day was I gotta get it to my cousin and hit different. <laughs> they, I, I thought we, I'm like, I'm like, I, I thought, I felt, I felt like he ain't love me no more. It hit different. I, I felt like we ain't cousins no more. It hit different. Like, he showed me we ain't that much of cousins though. Reese did show me that. Like, <laughs> they come through one night on phone them. It hit different. Um, it hit different. But yeah, man, them boys crazy. But it's, it's been, like I say, bro, it's been so many different events, bro, that done happen. Um, and it's really crazy, bro, that 
that it even come to, to light like this, bro. Like, that's what we've been talking about lately. Like, a lot of what we seeing now is a new generation. Like, with a lot of this Chicago blogging, you seeing niggas talking about, yeah, this nigga did this, this nigga shot. Like, it's, it's crazy right now with the YouTube shit. At first, niggas was just snitching on songs. You mean to tell me people was just saying this shit now? It hit different. You said the night that Lil Reese came through. I mean, were you outside on the block just hanging around? Yeah, fo. I ain't gonna cap on phone number. Um, my cousin, I ain't gonna cap. He be coming through, fo. When he be coming through on phone number. But like I say, I don't know if it be him for real because they when they called him the Grim Reaper, fo. That's like another character for him on bro. So you never see him on phone number. You just hear rumors like, yeah, that was woo woo. So you asked me, like, did I see somebody? Nah, I never seen somebody. I just feel like that was my cousin. You see what I'm saying? So I have no proof of this story, but I'll tell you the story, right? I check, catch my drift on phone now. Now look, I'm on the block, bro. Keep in mind, it's one of them days on phone now. Now, long live FYB DJ, it hit different. Real, mm -hmm. mem real member, you know, before DJ died, he killed the nigga, like, he he went out killing his killer. It hit different. So he died and my homie died. Long live DJ. What? It hit different when you go to the crib. Um, bro, why is you going to the crib? He boy, woo woo. I'm finna spin to the crib. But now you leaving J Main on the block. It hit different when as soon as you spin, the ops come through. La 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 la. So it hit different. So now I'm, I check on phone now. Let me get back to the story. DJ walk off on phone number. I'm on the porch. I'm chilling. It's like two, three baby bops with me, right? Keep in mind, to this day, Sean, now I realize there was some back door hole. There was some back door holes, Sean. There was some back door ass old block in holes. You see what I'm saying? These was dirty ass old block ins, bro. Do your homework. So long story short, I'm thinking these bitches is cool, bro. I'm thinking these bitches cool. I'm thinking they fuck with FYBJ Man. I'm thinking they done under the it hit different act. It hit different when you pull up. It hit different when FYBJ main, but on phone number, you really on some fluky shit. It hit different, but you saying it hit different to try to make me feel like we cool and shit. Long story short, on bro, I guess I must, this back when we smoking fat ass bags of Reggie on phone number, so I'm, um, I let me get a, um, a 10 sack on phone number. I get the bag of Reggie from Fool on phone number. I think Fishburne having a big ass, um, the big ass um, sacks of Reggie on phone number. I grab one of them bitches on bro. I guess it's me and who the fuck else on the porch with me? I guess it's me and I guess Butter, FBG Butter on phone number. And uh, one of my cousins on phone number, keep in mind, and Long Lil G Skinny on phone number. Now we all on the porch on phone number. I guess, I don't know that, um, I don't know that fool come up or what happened, bro. But I guess fool must do some funny shit, bro. They must tell me, now nah, I'm looking. I look out the corner of my eye. I'm seeing motherfuckers. Bro, them hit the cut on phone number regular. They soon as butter them get on the porch, bro, we shake up. He, what's up, B? Woo, woo, woo. Next thing I know, I guess the ops, they, la, 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 la. We hearing it on phone number. Now keep in mind, Butter trying to shake up on phone number. He falls on phone number. Now keep in mind, Butter get hit. Keep in mind, Butter get hit. My cousin get hit on phone number. Somebody else get hit. And Skinny, Skinny take off on phone number. He take off on bro. J Main on the porch on phone number. The two females on phone number. They on the porch too on phone number. They get, now they get whacked too. It hit different. So keep in mind, Everybody shot up. Now, Trench's News tried to go on, I don't know, Trent, um, on Cam Capone and try to say, yeah, J Main used women's as shields, bro. It hit different. Let me explain myself, bro. Like I told you, Sean, these were some set up ass, old blocky and ass hoes. So if the ops come through, bro, and yo, and, and, and yo set up ass right here, why would not put you in the way of uh, when, uh, when they start shooting, bro? You see what I'm saying? Would you, and they like, nah, J-Man, you bogus for throwing them bitches in the, for, for using women's as shields, bro. But how am I bogus? And this is an op-ass bitch, bro. It hit different when you set me up and it's a back door and you ain't know them niggas was gonna blow at your ass too. So I 
Doom, 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 doom. They shot her ass up. Doom, 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 doom. I'm letting her ass take them bitches. Doom, 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 doom. I fall on phone them. Other bitch, keep in mind, I told you two, three bitches on phone them. They, they still shooting on phone them. Doom, 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 doom. Butter, get that. Ah, I'm hit. I just joking. Um, what the fuck? Now, in my head, I'm. Is they playing? Keep in mind, I'm the only one that ain't hit. Keep in mind, when I'm telling you everybody hit, Sean, I ain't knowing that. I'm not knowing that everybody hit for real because I'm not hit. So when Butter say, ah, I'm hit. I just joking. Um, motherfucker, ah, look at him on bro. Um, but keep in mind, we all on the floor. Motherfuckers on top of me and shit on bro. Ah, push the bitch body off of me. I'm thinking she dead. She wasn't dead though. On phone now, I'm thinking this bitch dead on phone now. Now my cousin, I, this is the craziest shit of the story right here. On um, bro, my cousin, his ass, I push his arm off me. He, ah, my arm off. I look, Sean, on um, bro, this part, not right, not connected no more. So this bitch, like, just hanging on Archie Gray. I'm, what the fuck? On um, Fodem Gray, his shit just hanging, dangling and shit. Um, get up, folk. On um, Fodem. He, ah, can't, boat. Um, what the fuck? Where you shot at? The nigga end up getting shot in both of his legs and in both of his arms, bro. So this nigga like this, basically right here like this. I'm like, <laughs> bro, how the, what the fuck was you doing to get shot in both of your legs and in both of your arms, bro? On Archie Gray. <laughs> I ain't seen my, look, look, keep in mind, I told you my cousin BD, I ain't seen him since that day. Keep in mind, that was a shooting on the GD side, Sean. You see what I'm saying? That was a shooting on the GD side on phone them. So... Ever since that day, I chose my side, Sean. Ever since that day, my cousin them chose for me, Sean. It hit different. Cause one, I was never finna go hang back on the BD side, bro. After y'all just came through and did my cousin like that. But my cousin, guess what he doing? He still on the BD side. Cause he feel like, shit, if I went on the GD side, shit, that wouldn't never happen to me. Mm. It hit different on how, you can't tell that man how to feel, bro. And as a grown ass man, years later, I still look back at that story like, man, that shit fucked up. But you bogus for even how you how you how you still kicking with some niggas that blew at you, bro. It hit different. So mm. back to the story, back to the bitches, back to these um, shot up ass hoes that's on the porch on phone now. Now, long story short, I pushed that bitch off me. This bitch shot up on phone now. But uh, I'm hit. I just joking. I don't care about these set up ass bitches on phone now. Walk right over there. Um, shout out my boy, um, um, Real Real, Jaro City Real Real. He got shot in his back that day on phone now. Um, he he the first motherfucker I talked to, he on the floor. Do your homework on Chicago porches, Sean. So the, the porch like this, you know the porch is like, they sit up like this and the stairs is in the middle. Like imagine I'm the stairs in the middle and these are the things. This is how we all sitting. I'm sitting on the edge of the porch like this when, when they come through, it hit different. So I guess, long story short, we whooping. Now, I guess my cousin, from what I understand, they getting that, I asked real, real, um, boy, who was that, boy? Keep him out. I told you I ain't see nobody, boy. He, he tell me, he tell me some funny shit at first. Um, who was that? Who came through, boy? He, that was King David. Now keep in mind, King David is the leader of the BDs, bro. So he telling me that's King David who came through. So I'm like, I don't know if it's off the shot that he just saying that, bro. Or who he thought really shot him. He didn't eat. Merchant shit. He, ah, on Zico, this shit burn. He merchant on Zico that the, now I'm understanding that the bullet is really in him now. He, ah, on Zico, this shit burn, folks. Ah, man, who did that, bro? Who was that, bro? He, man, that's your cousin, boy. But they play so much, like the guys play so much, they play all day like J Main, so you don't know when to believe him, bro. So it hit different. I'm, all right, drop his ass on game. Bam. Now, butter. I'm hit. I just joking type shit. I'm phone him. Go back to butter. Um, what you want me to do, bro? He called my mama on phone him. Butter called his mama on phone him. He shot. He called his OG. Ma, I got shot. Um, fo, hang up, call the ambulance, bro. It hit different. What the fuck is you doing? Tell her that later. It hit different. Like niggas, Chicago niggas. Priorities be fucked up, but we love our mamas, bro. It hit different. Did you watch the new Lil Durk interview with academics? Lil Durk interview. I, I caught I caught a little piece of it. Uh, Dirk pissed me off, bro. Dirk pissed me off, bro. Yeah. Uh, explain. First of all, he went on this big platform 
why would you get on DJ Academics and, and try to make it seem like, yeah, what did young boy do? What did young boy do? Dirk, what the fuck did you do, bro? It hit different. You, you talking about how a young boy making these diss songs or whatever the case is, bro, but on phone them, soon as Doug died, bro, soon as Doug died, you couldn't wait to make a diss song. Then you putting other niggas in the beef. You done threw Poo Shiesty on a should have ducked song, bro. Like, that, that shit ain't got nothing to do with phone them at um, Memphis. On oh, bro. You trying to, you trying to fuck up our relationship with phone them. It hit different. You trying to blackball 63rd. And then he spoke on that. He spoke on him blackballing 63rd. Like, yeah, well, I ain't woo woo, but, um, if y'all rock with them, I ain't fucking with you. You blackballing, bro. You can't say that knowing that you one of the biggest artists out of our city on bro. So now anytime they see FYBJ Main, well, Dirk already told me what time it is on phone number. I can't fuck with him. It hit different. It hit different when you don't want me to feed my family, bro. I'll bug the fuck up, Sean. It hit different. Yeah. Uh, in the interview, he said, uh, if anybody works with NBA young boy. It's nothing personal, but he just can't he can't work with them anymore if they decide to do a song with a young boy. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's blackballing young boy, ain't it? But young boy got the he got the he got the motion already on phone up. So YB ain't ain't tripping off shit on phone up. He not in the YB is not in the same position that 63rd members is in, bro. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? We the underdogs for real. It hit different. So how why be? <clears throat> Part of yeah, basically, because he, he, young boy he made certain records, making references and stuff like that. And Dirk is basically saying, "Well, what did you do? You can't make a diss." He said in Chicago, "If you wasn't there, shut the fuck up." Dirt, what was you when Doug died, bro? What is we talking about, Sean? What the fuck is we talking about, Sean? What? You did a diss song 2.3 seconds after Doug died, bro. Where was you? Because the feds just picked up food them. And I know if you really had anything to do with that, food them would have just picked your ass up too, fool. So it hit different. You ain't never finna... You ain't never finna just tell young boy, yeah, if you want, if you want that, man, you do that shit all the time, man. Chicago niggas invented, start doing shit like that, nigga. You got on off of doing shit like that. Come on, man. What, what have you done? It hit different. Cause I'm starting to think that shit with you in India, motherfuckers broke in the crib. That shit was staged. It hit different. Do your homework on, it was staged and then it went left and you really got picked up. Motherfucker got picked up. But how you think motherfucker can get charged for the whoop? It hit different. Do your homework, Sean. Niggas ain't never get caught for that pipe. What are you talking about when India was shooting back? Yeah, they ain't, if Dirk can't be around guns, bro, how he ain't get whooped for that, bro? So you thinking that they're lying to the media about India shooting back for publicity? Come on, man. I don't, I don't, I ain't, I ain't just gonna throw that on baby like that, but you know, I'm talking about Dirk. It ain't different. Them two different people. It ain't different. I can't. I can't be doing that to India like that on this big platform. I can't do that. It's different. So yeah, the in, the interview made you feel some type of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirk overdid that. Dirk overdid that shit. He might as well. He might as well hang that shit up. But it do hit different. But life getting better for me now, on bro. Life getting better for me now. You know, I just I've been getting all my shit out the pawn shop and shit. I just I recently got my OTF chain back out the pawn shop, so it hit different. My shit. My shit cleaned up, Sean. It hit different. Do hit different. <laughs> so they tell me some. Yeah, Dirk said stop wearing, stop wearing that chain. On oh, bro, he it hit different when you send it. You sending all of these messages, bro. You sending all these messages, bro. It hit different. But when I get how, back, um, how um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. When I get back fucked up on phone number, I'm gonna find that shit again. <laughs> it hit different. <laughs> So is everybody on 63rd, are y'all all on the same page? Because I know it's so long, it stretches through so many hoods. Is everybody on 63rd on the same page? Nah, they not on the same page on phone number. I'm on page 63, them other niggas on other pages, bro. It hit different. Like, them niggas on other pages. But put it like this, that just like when we just seen um, 
four of them going back and forth. They going back and forth over who LBG and who not LBG. You see what I'm saying? Like, LBG butter been blowing up ever since you did the interview with um, Lil J and turned the whole situation back up. You see what I'm saying? So it hit different, bro. Once you understand it's a chain effect on phone number, but a chain reaction. But my whole thing is, um, folding them going back and forth over the, the LBG shit, everybody know that's butter, man. That's like I say, rather that's Jaro City butter, STL butter, Tukaville butter, FBG butter, FYB butter on phone them. Butter had hella different names, bro. On phone them. Italian beef and Pepsi, whatever you want to call it, it's still butter, bro. It hit different. That's still folks, bro. And he still get like that, whether they be trying to whoop a whop on phone them. He still get on that. It hit different. That's butter. Yeah. I interviewed big, big folks. Did you see that? Um, I seen bits and pieces of it. Yeah, he said in the interview, if all if you only know O Block and Sixty Third, you don't know shit about Chicago. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. You don't know shit about Chicago if you do your homework on all the other hoods that's <laughs> throughout the rack. Don't put it. Yeah, there. That's what I wanted to ask you. So look, let let me ask you this: You got JoJo World, you got World World, you got the low end. You got No Love City. You got Old Block. You got the East Side. Which which hood to you would you tell me not to go to? Sean, stay away from there. Do not go there. Um, do your homework on don't go to 63rd, bro. But besides 63rd, because I of course I tell you, don't just be on 63rd because that's one of them hoods on phone now. It get like that. You got to do your homework on them hoods over East. Like, not just no limit, go deeper over east. Get to the Jeffrey Minor on phone number. It be busting in the Jeffrey Minor too. It do hit different. You see what I'm saying? It you hit. said Jeff Jeffrey Minor? The Jeffrey Manor. It hit Jeffrey different. Manor? Yeah, hell yeah. Like what, what part like of this, town is a that? A lot of people don't understand. Yeah, my people's like, um, yeah, I'm from 63rd, but on phone number, like I told y'all, I've been all through the rack on phone number. Um, I used to be through the manor too on phone number. Jeffrey Manor, bro. Do your homework. It hit different. Oh nine. What, what what part of town is Jeffrey Manor? 96, what street 09, is that? Seven, all through there. Um Jeffrey Manor, now that's a whole little neighborhood on phone number. You got the GDs on one side, you got the Lafas on the other side on phone number. It, it it's all type of stuff that be um going on in the manor too on bro. So that's what I'm saying. Like, is it in the is it in the hundreds? Is it like in the third? Now, Jeffrey Manor start on you, some people say it start on basically 95th on back because it hit different. You see what I'm saying? 95th, 96 on back because it, it isn't the Jeffrey Manor that's in the hundreds too on photo because it's a it's a whole neighborhood. So you could be on 97th for Marion or you could be on the 101st and some shit. It hit different all through the back on photo. One motherfucker could be all all up through there. It hit different. Yeah. Now, you, you also been on headlines because... You know, people are saying that your your guns were taken. King Yella said it too. Trenches News, King Yella, I think Billionaire took your gun or something like that. Yeah, they talking about, yeah, they talking about Duck, Duck and Billy and 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 all the guys took my guns, bro. Do your homework on what? Who would have died, son? Somebody would have died, bro. But it hit different when. What we see J-Main doing, so let me tell y'all a certain situation. Because they overdo it. They overdo the internet. They overdo it. J-Main got 20 pipes taken and he carried it concealed. First of all, I can't even be telling y'all all my business, but on phone now, just because I got that on me don't mean I'm carried it concealed. I just be carried it concealed. Yeah, there. But you trying to make it seem like I'm some type of goofy on these platforms on bro. Like, motherfuckers just gone see me and take my gun on phone now. Now, if J Main was sleep off the drink on <laughs> phone now, it hit different when I'm sleep off the drink and I wake up, what? For where the pipe at? Now y'all don't know where the pipe at? It hit different. So that's a difference than a nigga just taking your gun, bro. Mm. I was sleep, bro, and a gun came up came up missing, bro. So y'all playing with me while I'm asleep, bro? It hit different. So it hit different when I look at the guys another type of way and I don't fall asleep around the guys. It hit different. You can't fall asleep around certain people, bro. You understand who a thief and who not a thief, bro. It hit different. But in Chicago, we ain't got shit anyway. So that's about all we could do is take guns, bro. Cause ain't nobody else got nothing else worth of taking, bro. 
besides a pipe, bro. Because everybody dying, bro. And you need a pipe, bro. It hit different. Mm. But to, to get that understood on phone number, billionaire black told me he ain't take the pipe. It hit different. Then they threw long little duck, yellow steady line on duck name, bro. And you got this man tatted on your leg and you lying on him, bro. His mama should smack the fuck out of you. It hit different. My whole thing is, how is you so long little duck this, long little duck that? The first thing you do, you get into it with J-Man, you start lying on this man. You done lied on this man. You done lied on your homies. Talking about you choked FYB J-Man. Then talking about you choked me in front of my baby mama, bro. Do your homework on my baby mama would have popped the fuck out of you, yellow. It hit different. The whole situation is crazy, bro. You also confirmed too recently that he never, he never messed around with Cardi B. Hell no. Nah. He bogus as hell for that. He bogus as hell for saying he, bro, you know damn well Yella ain't never clapped Cardi B, bro. You ain't beat them cheeks, bro. It hit different. You wanted to beat Cardi B cheeks. You never did, bro. It hit different. Those are offset cheeks. It hit different when them offset cheeks and they, he wanted it to be yellow cheeks, bro. It hit different. That's this man's wife. And you done disrespected this man's wife on these, on these public platforms, bro. Now the guys can't even get a feature, bro. I can't get a feature from Cardi B or Offset. That's crazy, bro. Not being able to get a feature from Offset is crazy, bro. Cardi 2 is even crazier, bro. It hit different. Oh man. But can you blame can you can you blame Offset for not wanting to rock with you? Cause he sent you in a video with this goof ass nigga who done lied, who done lied on his wife. Yeah, I'll, I'll fuck Cardi B. Bro, you never clapped Cardi B, bro. It hit different. <laughs> Lying on this woman, bro. Now I can't get a feature. I should beat the tattoos off his ass, bro. I, I hate him now, bro. It hit different. You fucking up my life, bro. No matter where I'm at, I'm gonna feel like I'm supposed to be in a bigger position. If I'm in this big house, I'm gonna feel like I'm supposed to be in a bigger house, bro. Cause with Cardi being offset, I would be bigger, bro. So you fucked up my blessings, bro. Cause you wanna lie on the coochie, bro. You wanna lie on coochie? Lying on coochie is crazy, bro. Shout out oh, to all man. the real women and all the real men who don't be lying on their whoops, bro. It hit different. Famous Dex, how well did you know him back in the day? Um, I didn't know Dex like that. Um. But I seen Dex a couple times in person type shit. Like, but we, we communicated a little bit. And he was always on some different type shit? As far as, um, I mean, what you mean? Like, I mean, like, to me, he got more different when he, you know, as he went up, you feel me? It hit different. Yeah, but like even in his old Zach TV interviews, you didn't get killer vibes from him. You got rock star, you got innovative, you got- Yeah, cause Dex- I, you was, could Dex was trying to do that. Dex was trying to be on that different type of shit. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, under that, if that's what we talking about, yeah, he was trying to do like, yeah, a different little tone. He had his own style on bro. So we ain't we ain't discrediting Dex from that on bro. He did his thing with that. So from you having no 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 sides in this, you being in the middle. What's your opinion on that? Because when you talk to Lil J and King Gellis. Oh, famous Dex blew up and he didn't and he didn't save us. And then you got famous Dex that's saying, well, um, you know, I got three kids, I got busy, um, you know, I I I made it. And and I didn't have a hit song yet. I wasn't a millionaire. Y'all didn't give me time. How much you time you, with that? How much time you need, bro? How much time you need? All right, now. Nah. Put it like this. Let me just let me just bring it. That's like me making it real big and don't reach for nobody, bro. I'm from the rack, bro. Like I say, I synced it on the outside looking in like you synced it, bro. So a feature, an interview, a collab, whatever the fuck the case is, a picture, that shit go a long way, whatever the case is. You see what I'm saying? That's how I would look at the situation. But knowing me getting bigger and I understand like, yeah, you can't do certain shit all the time and it's certain motherfuckers when it comes to this industry shit, you just can't fuck with a motherfucker how you would want to. But I feel like in that case, just be real with a motherfucker on phone now. You see what I'm saying? But and Dex, that whole situation, like I say, it ain't got shit to do with me. But if you ask j Man, do I feel like Dex left the guys? Hell yeah, you left the guys, bro. <laughs> Dex left the guys like a motherfucker. But he ain't, but, but put it like this. Do your homework on Dex leaving the guys and his teeth leaving him, bro. 
Do your homework. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't want to. <laughs> it hit different. I don't. I, I'm not here for that. I fuck with Dex. Nah, I fuck, I fuck with, with Dex too. That's my look. Look, when I Dex know I'm slow, it hit different. Like that's my brother, bro. In the same breath, I tell you, like, yeah, that's like we wasn't like that, bro. But that's folks, though. It hit different. When I first, the first time I seen Dex, bro, we was I ain't even know bro rock with me like that. This before he blew up on bro. Um, he was over there on. I guess what I don't know. Do they call it MOE? No love, wherever Dex be at on bro. I must pull over there with a baby bop on phone them trying to get some gas on phone them. They got the real gas over there on phone them. You know, J Main like to get fried on bro. I pull up on phone them. Dex see me, he FYBO bitch. It hit different on phone them. Mom. What's that word on phone them? Shake up with folks on phone them. It was all cool, all love. But nah, folks, TV is fucked up. He know that it hit different. <laughs> like that's not that's not a whoop, bro. You think I'm whooping, but Dex teeth is fucked up. He know it looked like he been chewing on bricks, bro. It hit different, but only at the bottom. Top top row, perfect. I fuck with the top row. I'm damn, that top row hit different. It hit different. When the bottom just, ah, it hit different. Ah, it hit different. Ah, damn, Dex, what you do? It hit different. But they say, on some real shit, bro, they say that shit, how, how your shit look after you... You know, bro got that money now. Bro got a bag on phone number. That shit ain't nothing, bro. This is gonna be, he gonna laugh at this shit, go to the next whoop on phone number. Teeth, he gonna get, get some more teeth on phone number. That, that's little shit to a that's little shit to a big dog on phone number. He gonna buy some more. He hit different. Yo, hey Dex, don't Dex, if you watching this, don't call, don't text me texting all fast and paragraphs. I, this is not me. <laughs> I love folks. Everybody love famous Dex. That's bro though. He and then he yeah. got a, he got good good spirits. Like how you say he let's, really does. Let's, let's speak on the positive of Dex. Like bro got good spirits on phone now. He might ain't reach back like for the people that we thought he would have reached back for, but hopefully he did do something behind the scenes that we don't know about. You see what I'm saying? But it seemed like the clo the the people to you like. Even the famous herbs and people like that who we did see you coming up with, it's like, we don't see you around these people no more, bro. In in the last interview, too, well, my interview with him, a lot of people were commenting about that. They said Dex did him bad. Yeah, but I don't know. that We don't know these people. We don't know. I, like I say, I'm not that close to Dex. I don't know his personal relationship with Irv. I know when I was, remember that story when I was telling you I was working at the hospital? Do your homework on famous Irv working at the hospital. I'm damn you and this bitch, too. It hit different. Do mm -hmm. your homework on him trying to come up. So you left folks. He was th at the hospital last time I seen him trying to, you know, on bro, do yeah. his one, two in the hospital, then work his way up. So I don't know. But Irv like getting money too. So I don't know. I don't know bro but, like that neither, but I met him before. Okay. I understand what you're saying. And I get everybody's perspective. Yeah. But you can't bring everybody with you, especially hood niggas. Right. And, that, and that's a fact. And that's why I look at the situation like, okay, Dex. Okay, when it come to the situation with him and um, was it Fat Daddy? All of them, Lil J, all everybody's pretty much saying that. Oh, Fat Daddy saying the same shit? I thought he rocked with Fat Daddy. Who's Fat Daddy? What, the other one? Who? Who? I thought bro named Fat Daddy. Who? Who be? No, I'm not. The only one I interviewed about it was Lil J, um, King Gella, uh, Duck's mom felt some type of way. Um, yeah, she said she could have. He could have saved her baby, bro. It yeah, different. but put it like this. And Dex offense, he getting that, I'm sorry, mama, I was gone. Ooh. ooh. Fo, you ain't, I, I, I like how he played it for, on the internet, on phone number, because all these people watching, but on phone number, after that, on phone number. But we don't know his position when in his pockets, but you can't help everybody too, though, bro. You can't help everybody, bro. We, you can't help everybody. But at the same time, it's like, after the years done went past, it's like, I... Regardless if you ain't helped nobody, cause Dex, you lying. First of all, let's start there. You said you was you want you only slept at certain motherfuckers. I seen you like I called Lil J phone one day. You picked up. You see what I'm saying? I called Lil J phone to talk to Lil J. You picked up the Facetime on phone them. You see what I'm saying? So you were sleeping on phones them couch too. Like I'm over there. Like we everybody was around, bro. So that's like me getting super up and not coming back for nobody who y'all done seen. Like a little bit of the like. Yeah, J Man, like nobody, bro. Nobody. Nobody is crazy. <laughs> That's how we look at it. Like, nobody is crazy. Like, we don't give a fuck who it is. Grab somebody, gang. Like, do a feature, like, do a feature with somebody. Like, even, even when when the situation just happened with um with um Duck Cuz and, and, and Yella, it hit different. It's like, I right, at least they done did a song together. They done threw a motherfucker in the mix or whatever case is. You got the song with Ruga, whatever the case is. He just rubbed el elbows with Kanye. Come on, cool. Put that shit together. Come on, somebody from the side game. Like, it do hit different when you get up and you don't, you know? 
But you can't tell the motherfucker what to do. That's shit. That's his business. That's how he coming. Shit. On phone them shit. Salute to him. Shit. Keep going. Ain't hey, different. <laughs> Lil J. Man, it's, it's not it's not looking good. Charleston White tried to give him advice. I think I did an interview with you and you were kind of like telling him because, I mean, look at you. You're moving around and you're not in Chicago no more. But Charleston White tried to give him advice. Everybody, as soon as he got out, a lot of people said he was moving backwards. Um, sh shit, now, I mean, they say he got caught with a switch that wasn't on his body per se, but the feds are charging him with it. It do it different when they went on your body and they still charging you, bro. Still charging you is crazy, bro. I bug the fuck up for charging me up some shit like that. But at the same time, what can you do, bro? When you a uh, how many times felon already? Is these people really gonna be on your side once you got a background that look like this? You see what I'm saying? Like it's it's harder to maneuver like that. But in legit defense, it's the rap. Gotta have that bitch on you. It hit different. If you ain't got that bitch on you, you might die. Lil J, do your homework on your ass should have never been in the rack. Catch my drift? Why the fuck is you still there, gang? You, but he don't know that. He wasn't out long enough to understand. He seen, he, he came home, like keep in mind, a nigga locked up. Last time you was out, we was on the block doing whatever the case we was, we was doing. It, you came home, motherfuckers motherfuckers down there 30 now. You see what I'm saying? You just came home, the guys is 30. It ain't different, you. All right, J Main saying he live here. Yella saying he live here. Billy live here. The guys is gone. Ruger here. The guys is gone. What you finna what you finna do? It's time to go, gang. You still trying to be there with this big name. That ain't what we own no more. We already did that on phone up. You gonna die. It hit different. But you got switchy. You ain't gonna die. So ha having to switch is crazy on parole. That's that's just crazy. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Throwing your life away is crazy when you got kids, bro. It hit different. Yeah. Playing with this shit and you got kids is crazy. Like, people ask me all the time, J Man, when you going back to Chicago? When you going to Chicago? When I feel like it, but I'm not in no rush, bro. It hit different. When I have a need, when so, when a lot of money call my phone, I'm like, yeah, it's Chicago. And it gotta be there. It hit different. When it has to be there, bro, I'll slide. But other than that, bro, nigga, I got, I'm trying to raise my family. It hit different. I got kids. It hit different. Switch switches in Chicago are normal? Oh yeah, switches in Chicago, like when you ain't crazy on phone them. That's far from crazy in Chicago. That's far from crazy on bro. Everybody got a switch on bro. Remember I told you, everybody want to Glock with a switch. It hit different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, switches in Chicago, that's that's basically like a motherfucker having a phone case now. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you 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 then uh these kids realizing they need that like they need they weed. Oh. They go get a three five. We got a switch on this bitch though. It hit different. Like, go get me some weed. My gun gotta have a switch. My drink gotta have some ice. You like a certain shit that go with certain shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, gun gotta have a switch. A gun without a switch in Chicago, and somebody gonna pull up on you with a switch is crazy. Do your switch homework. Cheese. Do your homework on you. Ain't trying to get switch cheese. You trying to switch cheese some shit. Yeah, so I mean, you get caught with a switch. What's that? That's like, like a guaranteed ten years. Yeah, that's, that's how they coming the in Iraq. That's what it seemed like they just did to Lil J. Like I don't be knowing how shit works, Sean. I just be seeing shit on my phone. I'm like, damn, ten years, Lil J. is crazy. Cause he just was home doing this thing on phone. Them, I thought folks were gonna stay out the way, on bro. That shit be fluky as hell. All this shit fluky, on bro. Damn. So you were working at the hospital when G Herbo got shot. Now go back. The G Herbo hospital story is not the same as J Main working in the hospital. Do your homework on J Main had a sprained ankle, bro. I was I I was young, but I had hoop dreams. It hit different when I was young, but had hoop dreams, bro. So, long story short, I was at the hospital. Keep in mind what what, what court I was hooping at. Do your homework on Murder Park, bro. I was at Murder Park hooping, bro, and sprained my ankle. Do your homework on a fat motherfucker falling on my ankle. Now I got to go to the hospital because I thought my shit was broke. Now mm. I go to the closest hospital. Murder Park is in Jeffrey Manor, bro. That's why I said do your homework, bro. We was just talking about the Jeffrey Manor. Murder Park is in um, Jeffrey Manor, bro. So the closest hospital is Trinity. So now I'm go to Trinity on bro. Next thing I know, um, 
you know, doing me and that bitch on phone number, flirting with the nurses and shit on phone number. Now I'm getting free graham crackers, juices, all that shit, icy cups, whatever the fuck the case is on bro, them Skittles, whatever the shit is on bro, that they be bringing to my folk for free on phone number. Can't forget the hospital ice, folk. That shit be hitting different on bro. Next thing I know, on bro, they put, they put me in a little room after they little, do my little heart shit. I wasn't really fucked up, but I was fucked up. You catch my drill. So they, I wait a little minute, put me in a little room on phone number. They put me in a room with one of the, one of them type of curtains, like you could pull this bitch back. You know how in the hospital, we just pull this bitch back. So right here, it's another motherfucker right here. So all you gotta do is pull back this curtain. I wanna call it a shower curtain, but it ain't the shower curtain yet, but y'all know what I'm talking about if you've been to a hospital, bro. Do it different. Long story short, I'm in that bitch on phone now. Now, as I'm eating my graham crackers and shit, I, I'm hearing the shit next door on phone now. Motherfucker getting put like, I'm, I'm imagining a motherfucker on a stretcher like this, you see what I'm saying? But it's a hospital bed on bro. They, they, but they pushing this bed in on phone up. I'm guessing his look, his ankles probably more fucked up than mine. So for them Greg, cause how they pushing him in. I done limped in that bitch, you feel me? On bro, long story short, um, he and the shit, they, he, um, he, ah, whoa, he's saying shit. But you know how a motherfucker talking folk and you realizing you rep like, that's like if I'm hearing your voice shine and I'm like, but I'm not seeing your face and I'm at a hospital and I'm behind a curtain and you behind a curtain. It's like, where the fuck do I know this voice from? And like, I'm like, I can't think of who the fuck it is type shit. You see what I'm saying? But I'm like, I know of this voice. Whoever the voice this is, I heard it before. Don't talk to him like that, but I know the voice. Long story short, I'm in that bitch in a hospital bed on phone now. Um, I get to talk, I get to naturally talking to the motherfucker behind the curtain. Um, uh, Cause he's steady moaning shit. He, um, boy, you all right? You know how you just being one of them type of motherfuckers. You straight over there, boy? Under that act on phone now. Motherfucking that. Damn, I would be cool. Whoa, whoa. Um, hey, my motherfucker, fuck me up. Whoa, whoa. So um, motherfucker get that. Um, yeah. Um, um, you he you listen to music out of nowhere in the middle of the conversation. And I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is up? Who the fuck is like I'm um, hell yeah, but I'm thinking in my head, like, why the fuck a motherfucker even asking me that, bro? You see what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't understanding why you're asking the question. And I'm like, E, you listen to music? Um, yeah, why, he, man, um, love her, uh, woo woo, no limit, type me in, everybody be messing with me, woo woo. He said, love her, Sean, keep in mind, I go to, do your homework on what high school FYBJ Main went to. I went to High Park. Do your homework on, I went to seven high schools, Sean. Do your homework on, yeah, I was fucking up. But long story short, one of these high schools was High Park, which I went to school with her. So that's why the voice a little familiar, like, oh, I heard the nigga voice in school. So when he say it's her, I cut it the fuck out. Pull a, cur <laughs> pull a curtain back. Uh, he's surprised to see FYBJ May now. You see what I'm saying? So it's hitting different on phone now, mom. Whoop, on phone now, mom. He, What's up, boy? Um, what's that word, boy? Damn. Now, observing Herb now. A foot, oh, G, keep in mind this, when I say Lil Herb, do your homework on Lil Herb changed the name to G Herbo as he got older and as his career blew up, bro. This was Lil Herb I was talking to, bro. It hit different. This was, do your homework on this before the G Fazos, Sean. Do your homework. As I'm observing Lil Herb, do he got on G Fazos? Nah, bro. He got on Tim's, bro. The wheat ones, bro. It hit different. So as I'm looking at the shoe, um, realizing what happened, he telling me the story as, as I'm observing. He, yeah, they came through our shit with a hunting shot. Um, damn, a hunting shot? And, but they only hit him in his foot, from what I'm understanding, his toe. I'm um, damn. I'm looking at the hole in the Tim. It's a hole in the Tim. The bitch out a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's fucked up, but you seeing the red around the Tim's too type shit. So, cause it's weak Tim's on bro. You seeing the red blood and shit. I'm um, damn. They done fucked you up, huh, Herb? It hit different. He, hell yeah. Um, who the fuck was that on um, bro? Keep in mind, we not from the same hood, but Chicago niggas, just me being from 63rd and I'm not your ops. This was an okay question for me to ask him, Sean. Do your homework on Chicago politics. I'm um, boy, who the fuck was that? He tell me on phone number, I ain't going to whoop because it hit different, but he tell me who it was on phone number, on game. Um, yeah, he, yeah, but motherfucker going to whoo, whoo. Um, okay, it do hit different. On um, bro, next thing I know, I guess, this how I know 
like Herb got a good family, bro. I can't say that. Herb got to have a good family because whoever was his peoples who came right up in that, that day, bro, they came in there with great concern, bro. His family give a fuck about him, bro. So it hit different when I be seeing him posting pictures with different, like as he got older and then posting pictures with his, with his uh, wife and the kids and shit like that. I'm like, that's how his family was the day at the hospital. As soon as that man got shot, bro, his mama, everybody was up there quick as hell. What the fool? They was bugging up, bro. It hit different when your mama bug up because you got shot. Like, you don't need to be doing this. You finna be a rapper. Woo, what you need to woo on phone now. But keep in mind, all this behind the curtains now. We ain't talking no more on bro. But that was, it was just a crazy ass, that was a crazy ass day. I'm like, damn, what's the odds? I'm in this bitch with G Herbo. It do hit different. I'm in this bitch with Lil Herb. It do hit different. You done got shot in your motherfucking toe. But do your homework on he made a song that came out. And then once I heard the song, I'm like, damn, I was there. It hit different. He, um, he, in some lyric he got um, about, he, about, I guess he took a, um, a 4-0 shot or something. I mean, he, he took a shot with a, by, with a 4-0. So I guess that was a 40 that he got shot with. That was a 40 that shell that hit, was in his toe. And that's a big ass bullet, Sean. A 40 to hit your big yeah. toe. Like I thought, just like I thought Tay Savage ain't have a nose, I thought toe, um, I thought um, Herb ain't have a toe. It hit different. <laughs> Speaking of Herb, Trap Lord Ross did a, a documentary about uh, No Limit, and he titled it Chicago's Deadliest Gang. Five million views. He did it nine months ago. You watch that? Um, I ain't see the whole whoop, but because that be, it was a long whoop, but I, I seen some of it. It hit different. Is that is that title, would you say it's accurate? Like that uh, No Limit is one of the deadliest gangs? When you say they the deadliest gang um, now, but a lot of deaths be happening around and in No Limit in that area, like, yeah, that crime is high over there. We could say that. But do your homework on, on Chicago being um, not even the, the number one murder capital right now. That's why it'd be crazy to me how everybody be so intrigued still with what's going on in Chicago. Like, we not even number one right now no more, but motherfuckers still intrigued with what's going on in Iraq. Yeah. I mean, because Chicago's so big. I mean, y'all have the highest y'all have the highest murder tally. Uh, y'all have the highest murder count and shootings. Um, but that's because of the population too. Mm, okay. Um, New Orleans and, and St. Louis right now they're they're going back and forth with the the murder capital title. But Chicago, I think the t the total numbers have been Chicago and Philly over like the last five years. Oh, are the, are the murders total numbers? The total numbers, yes, okay. it's been Chicago. I mean, y'all are the third biggest city in the country, right? Okay, um, so I had seen another list. I'm like, I don't know what list be. Accurate. Nah, those are those are per capita. Those are most of those cities on that list are small cities. Okay, type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, yo, why, before we get out of here, why are you wearing the HIV A shirt, man? What you trying to you you trying to break some news or what? No, it do hit different. Nah. My HIV AIDS shirt, bro, um, I definitely had to wear this during this interview because I guess Yella made a comment saying something about, um, and I felt like you're not supposed to do that. You're not just supposed to say, yeah, and j Main got AIDS or j Main got HIV, bro. So for you to come on your platform and put this information out there, it's crazy to me, bro. It's crazy. like. The ain't this a such thing as a HIPAA law, bro? That nigga break all type of laws doing this, bro. He's breaking all type of laws, bro. I know a nurse, bro. I know a nurse. I call him. Yeah, that's defamation of character. Yeah, yeah. You defamation of character, FYBJ Main, bro. By by coming on your camera and and saying that I got AIDS and HIV, bro. It's crazy, bro. The same thing, um, Tasha K, I think, did that to Cardi B, and she sued her for, like, I think, millions of dollars. You know oh, that? Yeah, but I don't know how to sue, Sean. It do hit different. So I just be seeing... People do stuff to me all the time, and I be seeing, and I know I'm supposed to be suing, bro. So it hit different when I don't, I don't know how to whoop. I just thought, ah, I bet, let me let me spread the awareness of the AIDS and HIV um, on Say Cheese, because I know what people do be going through, bro. So I just wanted to say... Make sure y'all using condoms because it hit different when you don't. You might end up with the whoop, bro. Yeah, it do hit different, folks. I ain't even gonna cap. And um, long live my boy Lowski, folks. I don't know. Um, 
Big shit splat. You know, um, I don't know if you know, Wooski brother just passed, bro. So it hit different. I got a um, woo, shout out um, um, Lowski, bro. Um, big shit splat. It hit different. Um, like I said, that's Wooski brother, bro. Yeah, I know Wooski don't do this internet shit like that, but I gotta speak on certain shit on phone now. It do hit different. Wooski, how how was he doing? Nah, Wooski. On phone number, he still, people be trying to make a scene like, like I told y'all, ever since Von came out with the, Wooski slow, he taking medicine. Ever since Von did that little whoop, bro, on phone number, that shit was like, you see what I'm saying? That's not what's really going on. That was never accurate, bro. Folks, I always been the type of nigga to do what he want to do. After folks lost so many people in this shit on phone number. He stopped caring about that rap shit like that, for real, for real. But will he still get up that doors one, two shit on phone number? Wooski a regular nigga like everybody else on phone number. Nigga, you want to, you, you talk some money to him on phone number. He going to get in. Oh, what you say, 10,000? On phone number, great. What you say, 20,000? Can I, did I hear 30? <laughs> on phone number. That's how Wooski is. Folks move off of money. That's why when they be like, yeah, Wooski broke. Wooski got a fake watch and all this. Bro, Wooski is whooping. That is... He know he could be rich at any second, but he focused on street stuff, bro. He focused on the streets, bro. Folks, folks, that's a million dollar man that, that's walking. It hit different. Before Wooski got hit in the head at the funeral, was he one of the most feared in Chicago? First of all, I was at that funeral, bro. And I, and that was that funeral is the reason, it's part of the reason why I moved the way that I moved to this day. And your question was before the funeral, was Wooski, say that one more time, I'm sorry. Was he one of the most feared guys in Chicago? Cause I mean, he was entertaining, man. People, it was a lot of like the fans, like they loved him. They loved, they loved watching his live. He used to stand outside and taunt people and say all this crazy shit. Um, he had that, he had that aura and that reputation. Cause Wooski black as hell, bro. Do your homework on, the media, we like black ass people. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you black as hell, up out of there, up out of there. You look like you would kill somebody on phone number. So he he fit the image on phone number. He it was like, put it like this, like I say, I'm not I'm not saying like like I told you, my homie, that's a rich man. You see what I'm saying? He knows this. So I feel like he adapted to that image because he knew like I ain't trying to change this shit too much because this is what the people love on phone number grade. Like I'm about to stay me, I'm about to stay solid to me. But hell yeah, he was a Wooski was a, put it like this, did he ever want to be a rapper and look at that rap shit? He, man, folks and them do that shit, y'all know what I do. But when he got locked up on phone number, he came up with that computer song. And then it was like, all right, now the world wants him to rap, but he never cared to do the shit. So the shit was crazy anyway. Like, that's like motherfucker, like, man, that's like your parents go to school. Like, I was never trying to do that shit. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, Never was trying to do that shit. I was so only... so. What was his passion? Doing drills and shit. Fold them. Fold them. Do your homework on Wooski. Putting on that mask. Mm. Mm. Turn into Wooski, bro. Why you think? Why you think Dirk? Why you think he got Dirk all on the songs? Wooski, cause he know Wooski hit that cut. Wooski, it never. When Wooski hit that cut, they they was talking about Fredo hitting that cut. It's a scary sight. If Wooski hit the cut, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. So without saying too much, you don't gotta say no names. When people do drills, do they come Fuck back? Fuck that! And I'm share saying names. Home? What'd you say? When 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 people do whoops, <laughs> and 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 they come back home, do they tell everybody the whole story and about Chicago, what happened, or do people let it? Wait, wait, wait! Or do people just let it digest and they kind of nervous? They kind of okay in Chicago. First of all, if you if you whoop a motherfucker folk, I ain't gonna cap. You want everybody to know that you whooped a motherfucker. So everybody around you can tell people and tell they friends, like, yeah, don't play with him. He gets like that. You see what I'm saying? So you got a whole bunch of motherfuckers that be just trying to prove their points. You see what I'm saying? So I bet if you seen folks kill him, he like that. Nah, but this nigga killed four people. It hit different when you whoop four motherfuckers, bro. And now, 
you the most feared. It's like, all right, bro, that little one body, bro, you don't even get like that for real. Stop that. How you say he don't get like that? He just killed the motherfucker. It hit different. So that shit be crazy already. It be a competition thing in Chicago, fo. Like, like I say, the 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 youth compete with each other on phone number for, and that's how we get our cool points in the rack, though. For real, for real. That's how you get your strikes on phone number. If not, do your homework on your ass being a what, Sean? A fucking goofy. It hit different on a goofy, bro. Do your homework on what a goofy is in the rack. A goofy in Chicago is worse than getting called a bitch, Sean. Mm. You call a motherfucker a goofy, you see this skin I got right here? It get under that. It get all under that a motherfucker's skin. You be a goofy, that's the worst shit to be called in Chicago. Motherfucker, you better call a motherfucker like anything else before you call him a goofy on phone number. Cause now you gotta bug up. You gotta bug up. Cause now they called you a goofy. What? I ain't no fucking goofy. It hit different. Do your homework on a lot of killers play too much. But on phone number, like in Chicago, Chicago a dangerous ass city. So we laugh our pain away. You see what I'm saying? But it hit different when don't get confused on a motherfucker playing too much and then think they're a goofy, bro. Cause yeah, goofy would be a, a real put it like this, a killer will play too much on phone number, but don't think his ass a goofy is that's gonna show you. It hit different. Yo, last thing. Uh what did you what did you think about Lil Dirk? Calling uh, Lil Tim a nerd. Calling, calling the nigga that killed your boyfriend a nerd is crazy. First of all, first of all, let's start there. Calling, calling a motherfucker who killed, who killed your man's bro, a nerd. I mean, shit, the world, how we looking at his ass? Shit, that's the killer. <laughs> Oh, oh no, yo ass look like the nerd on the interviews talking about his ass. Fuck you talking about it, it hit different. And it shit, and what from what we what we know, that nigga still alive. It hit different. The killer's still alive. You talking about it on the interview, yeah, he a nerd, he a nerd. Like that's why I be like, Dirk, sometimes he be over trying to sound cool and shit. It hit different. 